I'm Steve Bennels, pastor of Capital Baptist Church in Annandale, Virginia. And today I want to tell you a story. I want to tell you a story. And the story I want to tell you today is the story of uh, Elmer Towns, Dr. Elmer Towns, and Steve Reynolds, uh, myself. I want to tell you the story of Elmer Towns and, and Steve uh, Reynolds. And I'm excited to share with you uh, the tremendous impact uh, that Dr. Elmer Towns has had on, on my life. And honestly, you could say Elmer Towns is literally a legend, okay? That's, that's not any stretch at all, okay? When you look at his uh, resume and you look at all that he's accomplished, I mean, legend is one of the first words that comes to my mind. And particularly when you think about co-founding uh, Liberty University, uh, which is now well over 100,000 uh, students, uh, and he was there to literally start that from, from ground zero, uh, and then listen to write, uh, like, I think now he's up to like 225 uh, books. I mean, I've written five books, and I can tell you, it's not easy to write a book, okay? and I can't imagine writing uh, 225. Uh, but I want to tell you a story about this legend. He's also a, a mentor of mine, uh, and bottom line is, he's a friend. Dr. Elmer Towns is a is a great friend uh, to me, and I, and I hope he would say the same thing about me uh, to him. And so I want to tell you a story of our relationship. Now, as I think about this, uh, I read that Dr. Towns has uh, taught 260,000 students in his career. I mean, just think about that, 260,000 students. And when I think about all the incredible students he's had in, in his life and then the special relationship we've had, uh, all I can say is it's been an act of God uh, because I know there's no way in the world he could have done what he's done with me uh, with 260,000 students. So I give God praise for that. And from my heart to Dr. Towns' heart, thank you, uh, Dr. Towns. And so as I begin, I just want to uh, say some things some uh, general thank yous. Number one, thank you for co-founding uh, Liberty. I mean, Liberty has been a huge part of my uh, life. Uh, it's been a huge part of uh, the life of people that I love uh, and friends, lifelong relationships I have. It's been a huge part of our church. So thank you. And I, and I thank God I could be there in those early years, okay? Those, those years, oh my goodness, just... Starting at school, you know, I wasn't part of the first group, but I was part pretty much of the second group. And, uh, and I thank the Lord I could be there early on uh, for the very infant days of, uh, of liberty. I want to say thank you uh, for speaking at Capitol so many times. I mean, I don't know how many times, okay, but, <laughs> uh, but you've spoken here, uh, you know, a lot of times uh, through the years. And it's just been such a blessing to have you uh, fill our pulpit and uh, speak to us and teach us and, and uh, share some of the books that you've written uh, that have been a blessing uh, to us. And then I want to say thank you for being there for the good times and the bad times. You've been part of so many good times. I, I'll never forget, you know, right now as I'm recording this, I'm actually celebrating my 40th anniversary here. But you actually came and spoke at the 25th anniversary. See this board here that I've kept for 15 years, okay? And uh, there you are, okay? You were the guest speaker. Thank you for being part of such a huge evening. I'll never forget that night and uh, that 25th anniversary night. Thank you for doing that, Dr. Towns. The good times and the bad times. I mean, we've had a lot of good times together. We've had, you know, fun together. We've We've laughed together. We've we smiled uh, together. We've we've had some good uh, exchanges o over time. I uh, thank you for being part of the bad times. I, I particularly thank you uh, for being there at one of the worst, if not the worst, time of my life, and you attending uh, the funeral of my my mother. And I'll never forget when you walked in. It was an incredible moment uh, for me. I mean, I wanted you to come, but honestly, I know how busy you are, and frankly, I didn't, I didn't personally invite you, not that I didn't want to. You just showed up. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Towns. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, thank you for praying for me. 
I mean, you've prayed uh, for me and, and with me uh, many times uh, through the years. And listen, thank you for pouring into my life. I mean, you have given yourself to me. You have poured into me tremendous wisdom, both one-on-one -on -one and then in, in public forums uh, like the classroom, like seminars, like conferences, many, many things that you've poured into me through the years. So, Dr. Towns, thank you. Now, I also want to talk about uh, the fact that recently I kind of thought about uh, where uh, my life has, has been and where it is and where I hope for it to go. And, and I kind of came up with some different seasons uh, of my life. And, and here's the deal, Dr. Towns. You've been part of every season, okay, uh, in, in a big way. And so I just want to go over these with you. Number one, uh, the first season was a season of preparation, a season of preparation. And I call that a season of Christ and companion and career, uh, where God was preparing me. And, uh, and a big part of that uh, was uh, that I met my wife, Debbie, at Liberty. And, uh, and, and you know, when you think about a, a, a companion, uh, thank the Lord for Liberty, because it was there at Liberty uh, that Debbie and I uh, first met. And not only, you know, that relationship with her, but Christ. I mean, my relationship with Jesus listen, was so uh, exponentially uh, grow, uh, grown during the, those times uh, at Liberty. And then career, you know, just God used uh, uh, you and God used the school to give me direction on God's calling for my life. And, and so with that, I thank God, you know, that I'm a graduate of Liberty University, okay, uh, a very proud graduate. And then on top of that, I'm a graduate of Liberty Seminary. And I'm so thankful that you were the dean of the seminary when I went through seminary. I will forever be grateful that you were our dean. And I remember one time you told me, Steve, the degree you got was probably one of the best degrees that Liberty ever offered. It was really a great degree, very balanced. And boy, I, it's been so helpful to me. And then you paid me a tremendous honor uh, you wanted me to get a, what they call an honorary doctorate, where a higher a school of higher institution recognizes life accomplishments and gives a, a, a doctorate. And you made that happen. You, you, you contacted Louisiana Baptist uh, Seminary, um, uh, and you had me receive an honorary doctorate. And I don't call myself Dr. Steve Reynolds very often, but, but I could, okay? And, uh, and, you know, that's because of you. But just the fact that you appreciated and, and respected me so much that you would do that, thank you. And then a season of family. Uh, I call that a season of parenting. I mean, you've been such a, a great blessing to our family. Again, going back to my wife, Debbie. And, uh, and you guys shared some special moments because... Uh, more than once, I believe you traveled with her, the singing group she was in, the SMITE, Student Missionary Intern Training for Evangelism. And uh, you guys went to different places in the world. And, and one of the most special moments of her life that she will never forget, you were part of it. You were actually right there with her. You guys were out on the, uh, on the South China Sea, the South China Sea, uh, looking for refugees that... that, that uh, uh, that you could help. And guess what? I mean, the sun, I understand the sun was coming up, and over the horizon you guys saw uh, a group of refugees in a boat just crammed into a boat, and, and she told me that when the boat pulled up, uh, the, they didn't, the first thing they asked for, they didn't ask for food or water or, or any of that stuff. Okay? Obviously, they needed it. The first thing they asked for was, do you have any Bibles? What a miracle, okay, <laughs> to find a group of people out in the South China Sea, uh, and they said, do you have any Bibles? Debbie will never forget that, uh, Dr. Towns. You've been a blessing to my children and all of our children. Uh, Crystal, Sarah, and Jeremiah all attended Liberty, and you've been a great blessing. Them. You've been a blessing to my grandchildren. I mean, you actually uh, prayed over my grandchildren, and I asked you to pray for them, and, and you were kind enough to do that. And then a season of obedience. And for me, this is a season of planting and multiplying our church. 
And so there's a lot I could say here, so I'm going to have to say it really, really quick, all right? But, uh, but I planted our church, and, uh, and you had a major role in planting our church. Number one, you gave me the training to do that, okay? And, um, you know, back in the day, uh, you were pretty much the only one that had much uh, on books or whatever related to church planting. I mean, these days, I mean, there's so much information, I mean, that church planters have. And I'm glad it's available because there's a ton of it out there these days. But back then, honestly, you, you, were, you were pretty much it, okay? And thank you for the, doing that. Uh, you, you, you provided the team. You helped provide the team. And, uh, and, and God brought together Debbie and uh, Bob Agee and, uh, and our spouse, uh, his, his wife, Lynette, and, uh, and Roy Jones and his wife, Melinda. And, uh, and, and listen, all that happened at Liberty, okay? And Pastor Bob has been such a tremendous blessing uh, to me and to so many people through the years. And, and that relationship was forged right there at uh, Liberty. You gave me the faith to believe I could do it. I mean, honestly, when I look back on what we did, I mean, <laughs> I mean, look at it from today, I, I'm thinking, wow, you were crazy to do that, okay? To, to come to this area not knowing anybody. Uh, but you know what? You, God used you to instill the faith that I had in God uh, that it could, could happen. And you came, I'll never forget, you came and organized our church, all right? You came, and it's kind of like, you know, I call it the wedding for a church, is where you say, I do. And you brought us together, and I'll never forget, you said, okay, folks, who's going to be the pastor? And, you, and they, they said, Steve Reynolds is going to be the pastor. And they, they sent, you know, I forget, I think we ended up with 66 or something like that, charter members. Thank you for coming and doing that. Uh, you gave me the opportunity to impact church planting. Uh, you know, you heard me speak one time, and I put together a series of talks about how to plant a successful church. And you got so excited about that, you actually uh, gave me an opportunity to come and do that at Liberty, and you encouraged me to put it into a resource and actually made a, you know, cassette tapes of how to plant a, a successful church. You allowed me to be part of the founding days of Liberty Baptist Fellowship, which literally has planted uh, hundreds, if not thousands of churches. And you brought me in, I was a very young pastor, and you brought me in with all of these uh, older, wiser uh, men of God, and let me rub shoulders with you guys uh, to get that uh, started. And then listen, also uh, multiplying. You know, our church has started five churches within an hour of our church. You gave me a heart for church planning. You gave me a heart for multiplying. Uh, a season of sacrifice. A season of developing and building our church. You were always there through the development of this church. I mean, how many times <laughs> did we have lunch together? How many times did, did we talk on the phone? How many times did you, we, you write me letters? Okay, I got a bunch of personal letters you, you've written me, okay? You helped develop this church. And listen, when it came to, to us building a, a building, I'll never forget, Dr. Falwell came and, and he was the main person, right? You know, you, wherever he, Dr. Falwell went, he was the main man, right? We, know, we all know that, okay? But you, you came with him. I'll never forget. You came to the banquet to celebrate the new building just to be with me. Just to be with me. You, you didn't have any role, responsibility. Um, maybe I asked you to get and say something. I don't remember, but you didn't come to say anything. You came just to be with me, to be with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And praise God for that, that building. It was a great time of, of, uh, of, of sacrifice. And then the last thing, and I know this is a little long, but I gotta, I'm leaving out a bunch of stuff. Trust me, okay? Uh, the other season I want to mention is a season of health, a season of health. And so the first thing I want to talk about is this is a season of losing to live. And the first thing I want to talk about is your example, your example. You know, you've always taken care of yourself, you know? And here you are now, you've, you've been around, you know, nine decades Okay, think about that. You know, I want, I want to live a long, prosperous, not only just alive, living, okay? I mean, tra literally at, at 90 years of age, traveling the world, literally, uh, preaching and teaching, and wow, thank you for being an example. 
Thank you that you never had to lose 130 pounds or whatever, okay? You were always a great role model uh, in that area. And then, listen, you had such an impact on me even being an author, much less, you know, writing a bestseller selling book, okay? And, uh, and, and, and when, I, when I felt impressed that I needed to write something because so many people were asking for it, you were like one of the first people I talked to. And you, and you encouraged me and guided me. I mean, you know, and I've only written a, a measly five books, Dr. Towns. I'm sorry, only five, okay? <laughs> not, not over 200, but, but I thank God for my books. And it started, Bod for God, it was my most famous one. It started out as a self-published book. And then it was you, Dr. Towns, who was on the board of a publisher, uh, Regal Books. And you're the one that told them they need to contact me and they need to publish Bod for God. And, and it happened. And then later on, Baker, you know, after, after Regal closed down, Baker picked it up and praised God. But again, you were part of that. And that led to Get Off the Couch. You know, that led to Healthy Renegade Pastor. That led to, to Wise Up. That led to uh, taking God to work. But listen, all of that, particularly the health aspect, I mean, literally you have, through influencing me, we have helped thousands and thousands and thousands of people, okay, lose weight and improve their health. You did that, Dr. Towns. Thank you. So, sir, today I want to thank you. I want to thank you for investing in my life. And I don't know, 260,000 students, that's a lot, okay? But the truth is I know you haven't had this big of a relationship with very many of those students. And I thank you for whatever reason God showed me favor and giving you to me. And I want to say thank you, sir. Thank you for giving to the Lord so that God could use me and bless me with so much. Thank you, Dr. Elmer Towns.